My recollection is that in the United States District Courts in Texas are now four or five vacancies and that no nominees have been put forward for those vacancies, in some cases for more than a thousand days. So to add new judgeships into Texas when they're not filling ones for years and years at a time, the senators haven't even put recommendations in for presidential nominees. I'd like to, at some point, link getting some names in for those existing district court vacancies that have sat for years in Texas with <coughs> adding federal judges in Texas. I don't see why you need additional judges when there have been multiple vacancies that have been left without nominees for years. Now, I know an immigration judge is different than a district court judge, but still, I'm, you know, I, I have an issue with that, and I think it's important that we try to get these judgeships filled if we're going to add judgeships in Texas. And I, Senator Corn and Senator Cruz, I'm speaking off the top of my head now. This is information that I recall from before. I may have the numbers right, wrong. But I think it's four or five vacancies, and I think many of them are over a thousand days without the Senate having senators having offered to the White House proposals to be nominated. Mr. Chairman, I have an answer for the senator. The, uh, the president's got to nominate somebody before the Senate can act on it. It's as simple as that. Senator Hutchison retired. Senator Cruz was elected. We've created a bipartisan. Uh, judicial Evaluation Committee met with the White House, told them we're happy to work with them to try to work through these nominations and fill the vacancies. But the, but the fact so that we, we are Have you recommended names to them from the commission. Well, it's uh, we're, we're working on that. I mean, okay. it's uh, what is this May and we're trying to uh, we're trying we're working on that. I would be happy to help. Well, I'd like to tie the completion of that process to the new Judges, I just don't think it makes sense when there are four or five vacancies that have been open for years and years. Well, why and don't years. you tell the White House to nominate some people? I think the I think they usually mention here is that we work off recommendations of the senators. At least that's the way. The Constitution that's what I'm just provides the Island. president makes a nomination, and we provide advice and consent. So that's a condition precedent to our ability to act. Uh, I, I, now, it's I, true that we do work, try to work cooperatively with the White House. I hope we won't be punished for that. But when the there, fact is, there because of our proximity there's, to the there's border been a and the number of cases, the I, if I could just, the caseload per judge is, is yeah. sky high compared to the rest of the country. So this is uh, not some game numbers, plan here. If I could just note, based on 38 years' experience here, uh, every judgeship I've seen come through this committee during that time has followed recommendations by the senators from the state, whether they're of the same party or otherwise, uh, doesn't mean the White House has to accept those um, recommendations. I, I know when there's been Republican presidents, they've accepted my recommendations, but the uh, but you have to have recommendations from the senators, especially since I've been chairman, because I have if senators have cooperated, as the senator from Texas knows, if senators have cooperated with the White House and the White House sends somebody they disagree with, and thus there's not a um, uh, blue slip, then okay. I, I have not brought the person forward, even even when it's been when I've been importuned to do so by the, by the White House. So. Well, let's not get off the... Well, Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, if I could just brief, briefly respond. I, I think the Chairman's described the practice, and that is the practice. We try to work cooperatively. But if the, uh, for some reason the White House thinks that we're not acting uh, ex expeditiously enough or in good faith, the, the President's under the Constitution, as I read it, has the prerogative to nominate someone, and then we have the uh, responsibility to act on it. So I think we try to work cooperatively. Mr. Mr. Chairman, the as a Mr. Chairman, the matter because of having to put something into all the um, background and all the other things required, I don't think the White House is too eager to nominate somebody who would not get the approval of the senators from that state. But if the senator is having a problem, I'd be glad to sit down with him and, and the White House if that would help him. 